Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Master number 5. This is their number 5 padlock. So number 5 KA, and that means that when you buy these, whatever quantity, if it's KA, and you'll always have a uh, indirect code, a, a, a key code after it, they'll all be key to like. That's what the KA stands for. This is a master number five, and that refers to, quite frankly, the type and size of the padlock um, is what it refers to. So the five is larger than a three, and it's larger than a number one padlock. And let's go over the dimensional properties. Now, when it comes to padlocks, generally you're going to find three dimensions, the inside height, the inside width, and then the diameter of the shackle. So let's go over all of those right now. Okay. okay. Let's get our caliper out here. So first of all, the width of the shackle looks like it's 0 .934. 0 .934. Then the height, and we're not going to get quite there with our reach of our caliper, but it appears to be 1.027, and they're saying it's one inch. So sure, one inch. Then the diameter of the shackle, 0 0.361. 0 0.361 would be the diameter. Okay. Now the body dimensions, let's take a look at that. They've got it at two inch wide, and that's going to be the width of the laminated plates. Indeed, two inch wide. The laminated plates, these are literally several couple of dozen or so flat steel plates that are all stacked on top of these rivets that are here and here and then they literally you know peen those over and that compresses and compromise that's what uh, that is the composition of the construction of the padlock body itself laminated steel plates a very strong effective way to build a standard padlock with laminated steel plates and basically what happens is when you insert the key and that is a pin tumbler cylinder, by the way. So that would certainly be an upgrade to a warded construction or a disc tumbler or a wafer tumbler construction. This in no way would be considered high security, but it is a better of the entry model sort of padlocks compared to what else you could get. It has a dual ball bearing locking system. That ball bearing will sit in each of those areas okay, when it's closed so that if you're trying to pry it open, you've got two of those instances that you'd have to bypass. When you insert the key and turn it, that turning action allows room. So the ball bearing is sitting here and here. When I turn that, the ball bearing has room to come in, allowing the spring action of the shackle to pop up. Okay. Uh, the rest of the dimensional properties, let's go over that. The thickness of the body. Looks like it's about 7 eighths. And then the height of the body itself looks like it's about an inch and... Uh, 9 sixteenths. Okay. Uh, it's not light. It weighs 0.86 pound. This does with its keys. Let's switch to the screen view now and let's take a closer look at the supporting information. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Okay, so here's the item that we are looking at. We have some photographs, so let's take a look at those. There's the box. <clears throat> That's what's in the box. Lock body, side view, or you know, end view, I suppose. That is an image showing the bottom of the padlock. It is showing us the the rivets that are down here, but also the broaching of the cylinder plug. That's a W1 keyway, and I'll show you that key blank in a moment as well. Uh, then we have the shackle open. That's where those two ball bearings sit into, as you can see. And then it is the two keys that are included as well. A500, that's what's called an indirect code. You need some reference document to tell you what those physical cuts are on the key based on that code. The factory obviously maintains that information. Okay, so let's take a look at our extended description. Laminated steel pin tumbler padlock. That is a uh, padlock of pin tumbler design, meaning that there are tumblers in here rather than lever tumblers or disc or wafer tumblers. It's the technology of the cylinder itself. 
commercial grade padlock, superior protection from drilling and prying. Those laminated plates do that, the drilling part, the prying would be the two ball bearings. Two inch wide, one inch tall, that's the shackle, barren alloy shackle for superior cut resistance. Dual ball bearing padlocks for maximum pry uh, resistance. It's a non rekeyable four pin W1 cylinder. That means this can't be serviced. We can't pull that cylinder out um, and um, rekey it. The factory can key them at the time that you order it. So think ahead if you have some two level or even three level keying requirements, master key or grandmaster key keying requirements. Uh, more sizes, it includes the two A500 keys. That's the cut on the key. Non-key retaining, that means that this padlock can, uh, will permit the key to be removed in either the locked or unlocked condition. That may not be what you want. You might want key retaining so that you can never leave the padlock unlocked and walk away with your keys. If you need a key retaining version, reach out to us and we'll help you with that. Cylinder type, they call it a conventional cylinder. Um, it is conventional in the sense that it's not removable. When you buy one, we'll send you one. Product catalog is here. Stock factory image is here. Let's look at the product catalog. Uh, this generic type of padlock will likely be further in the catalog. They won't put it right up front. Superior security. General security. Yeah, that looks like us. So we've got a number five. Here's information. Dual locking levers provide extra pry resistance. Top and bottom bumpers for scratch resistance. Absolutely. That padlock's going to get really banged around. Protect the body itself. Uh, you'll see German here because Master, I believe, is affiliated with Abus, uh, who is a, which is a large German manufacturer of locks. Very, very large. Uh, and this catalog is full of other variants of padlocks that I would very much recommend that you review because the world of padlocks is a lot deeper and wider than we uh, typically think of it when we're talking about just a padlock. So let's switch now to the link here to the manufacturer's page. That will allow us to review not only all of the master products that we sell, by means of this horizontal navigation, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, the product catalog we've already dipped into. Let's take a look at the Master Lock Technical Manual. And that's important because it's everything that's published when it comes to the behind the scenes construction of padlocks. Now there's nothing in here on the general security padlocks. They're non-serviceable. You can't pull them apart. You can't do anything to them like that, like you can on these other padlocks. But the reason I draw your attention to the document is you might be working on something other than a number five, uh, and it might be in this document. They talk about their cylinders. I would imagine what's in the uh, in our padlock here is not unlike any of these cylinders. Rekeying them is not difficult, uh, and it can be done if you can get the cylinder out of the housing or out of the body of the padlock. But what I why I truly um, well before I get to it, if you're going to service this material at all. When you turn that key 180 degrees, everything's going to fall out of those holes in the bottom. And that's actually, I believe, how you combinate them. Uh, so be mindful. And in fact, it is. I can see that that's how it is. They'll, if you've not done it before, they'll fall out on you. So just be mindful of that. But I bring your attention to this catalog because they have a sheet of their different key blanks. And if you recall, we said... W1, W1, okay. So W1 is right here. And indeed, sorry, the broaching here is the same as what was on that photograph that I had shown, showed to you earlier here. That profile is the same. So that's very handy because it will allow you to review, uh, not only specify if you need key blanks for this, but other key blanks that you might end up needing. I've had clients email me photographs of master padlock keys, and I've been able to use this document to determine by not only studying the bow shape, but also the profile shape as well. And I believe you can order this number five with a WP4, which would be a secure, most likely a security or restricted blank. So I think they can do some basic security over this, at least controlling who can easily get key blanks. And this document is full of that information. Okay, 
Uh, other encyclopedic documents we'll put here as well. Prior versions of the catalog is what's kept on this page. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, nice quality padlock that we have here from um, Master, uh, no doubt about it. I, what I like about them is not only that they have a comprehensive offering of padlocks uh, and different varieties of items like that as well, uh, but they can handle high security material. So in that technical manual, you'll see other cylinders that are small format, removable core, and you'll be able to accommodate the requirement of a high security cylinder using their lock bodies. That's number two. Number three, I've also called them and I have uh, been very gratified to speak to someone who clearly understands not only their padlocks, but locksmithing as well. Anyway, the point being is that it's um, very, very, not refreshing, but it's uh, appreciated when you talk to a company who possesses a working knowledge of their product and the science of locksmithing beneath it. So um, a lot of people you can buy padlocks from. I'm not so sure there are so many other companies that you can buy padlocks from that understand the science inside of here. Any questions on the master number five? Oh, by the way, before we go, um, when you order those key to like, if you were to search our site for master 5 ka you're going to come up with pages of the same key blank, uh, pardon me, the same padlock. The only difference is at the end, the key number changes. So you might say to yourself, well, I know I ordered 2315s last time, and I want these to be the same key, so order the 2315s. Or you might say, no, I definitely want them different. Or you might say, I don't care what the key is. I, I need five padlocks. I want them key to like. You might want to record that information so that in the future, should you want more key, more padlocks, either specifically keyed to the same original or specifically keyed differently from the original, you'll have that data. So if I have a client um, who routinely buys anything keyed from us, we will, as best practice, record the data securely so that we can refer back in time and see what the client ordered. On this order, it's in the part number, so we know what key number it is. But anyway, you'll want to be cognizant of the fact that you can in, as you move on in the future, order lock specifically key to like or key differently as long as you know the original key number. Any questions on the five or any other master product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.